Oh, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> I guess no kissing today. <laughs> Save that for after camera. <laughs> So we are here in Covent Garden at Dominic Ansel's Treehouse. Inside, the OG of the Krona, and today he's gonna to show us how to make the perfect Valentine's Day dinner. Let's go take a look. I'm here with Dominique, the king of the Krona, and we're gonna be making a perfect Valentine's Day dish. It's called the venison petivier. Is that that's, right? That's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> So I'm pretty excited about this dish. It's a perfect way to show pastry chef skills in a savory kitchen. We're gonna have this beautiful reverse puff pastry, buttery, flaky, with this braised venison in the center with celery yak and cabbage. It's just perfect for Valentine's Day. I can't wait to get started. This is a brick, uh, further brick dough on the outside. Okay. This will just like help us like keep everything together, keep all the juice, all the moisture inside. Uh, we have our venison uh, meat that is mm -hmm. braised in the center, uh, the celery yak on the bottom, that is oh, cool. thinly yeah. sliced, See. and a, a leaf of cabbage right on top. Then we're gonna wrap uh, this little patty with the feuille de brie. It's like a little, little patty. meaty present. Mm -hmm. So we keep this on the bottom, we're gonna press it down a little bit. Use a tiny bit of water. So I'm gonna make one, you're gonna make one. Then we're gonna take another piece of fur pastry right here, place it right on top. And the goal here is gonna be to push it down and to try to meet the two pieces as close as possible. And then we're Look going how to great flip, this looks. flip this upside down yeah. and put it right here, ready uh, to be uh, egg washed and then scored. My turn. Show must go on. I'm in. So remember the steps? We're gonna start with the water. Just put a little bit of water just to uh, stick the two pieces of dough together. Okay. Right, just on the outside, not too much. How's that brushing? Is that brushing good? It's a little bit too much water, actually. <laughs> Date it's, night is over. It's not completely gone yet. <laughs> we're gonna fold the further brick okay. in the center. Okay, and then we right stick in it in here. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. Now we're taking the, the other piece of puff pastry that we're going to place right over it. Put it over the top. Perfectly and then, centered. Perfectly centered. And then we're gonna push the dough down to seal it. Cool. And you're gonna go all around. All right, push all of that air out. Okay, nice. So, do I just press it around the outside like yeah, this? That's still? good, that's good, that's good. No, yeah. no more than that. No more than no. that. <laughs> you you can see I'm taking it too far. excited here. Uh. <laughs> What's next? So this is done. We're going to put it in the fridge just to chill for about 10 to 15 minutes, just for the dough to be cold enough for us to score it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. And then we'll get back to it. Now the fun part, for me at least, like okay. all the uh, skills of a pastry chef are going to be shown here. We're going to start with egg wash. So we're going to brush once again, like just like painting, right? We dab it on the side, put a little bit on top, and then we we'll pull the egg wash. Okay. Then we're gonna take our exacto knife. Very precise. We're gonna mark the center just right here, and we're gonna go from the center, and we're gonna make half a circle all the way to the side. So you want to cut the dough just a little bit. You don't want to go through the dough, otherwise everything will burst out. And we're gonna repeat the same motion all around. I'm like a bakery surgeon. Okay, cool. Well, all right. Show me what you've got. Okay. So first of all, I need to give it a little bit of egg wash, right? Reminds me when I painted my flat on the Bob Ross of the culinary world. Okay, cool. So now we uh, now you got, got a scalpel. I'm yeah, really nervous. Is that guy there? And you, yeah, you're lefty, so you're gonna go this way. Round, okay, cool. Yeah. How's that uh, started? Not really half a circle, but... <laughs> not really half a circle. <laughs> yeah, don't press too hard, because I see like, you see here, it's you, you almost see the, the meat. Are you nervous a little bit? Tiny bit, yeah. <laughs> I mean, never had to create such a, bit of artwork with a, a scalpel and some pastry, but on the Bob Ross of the culinary world. Bob Ross of the culinary world. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 30 minutes at 185 degrees Celsius. What are we gonna do in the meantime? Are we gonna have, have a, a drink? drink? Yeah, perfect, no. <laughs> All right, here we are. This is our wow. beautiful view. How do you think I've done? It's. It's definitely a little bit, a little bit wobbly. It could be a little bit better, but <laughs> it's not bad for the first time, honestly. So here we go, we yeah, have we, our little jus here oh, to we're gonna finish. pour this guy on. I'm gonna pour this guy on top. Just cover up the disaster that I've made. Right. Dominic, you are a genius. That looks great. Bon appetit, let's do it. And when you look inside, you will see the meat and the celery on the bottom, the cabbage on top. Oh, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is perfect. The puff pastry is crispy, 
buttery. So delicious, it's so buttery. Nice like little sauce with the meat that is tender, mm. slow cooked with the celery egg and the cabbage. It's really, really good. Dominique, thank you so much for teaching me how to cook the venison petivier here at the Dominic Ansel Treehouse in Common Garden, the all day cafe, your new place. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. You Come back soon. I want to. You've saved my life for Valentine's Day. This is Great. going to be a treat.